We're down here in Pueblo, Colorado this morning at the Steelworks Museum for the 140th anniversary of the CF&I steel mill. So if you remember anything about American history and the industrialization of the West, you'll know that CF&I played a large role in that. So I'm standing here with Victoria Miller. She's the curator here at the Steelworks Museum. Thanks for having us down, Victoria. Thank you for coming. This is the, uh, the Steelworks Museum. This was the largest steel mill in the western United States for over 121 years. Today, the mill goes by the name of Evraz, and it's still in production. This year, uh, 2012, we are celebrating the 140th anniversary of the steel mill's presence in Pueblo. This tunnel was built in 1956 when I-25 came through Pueblo, and this was the entrance to the steel mill for the employees. They would park their cars on the west side of the interstate, go into this tunnel, check in, and then go underneath the interstate and come up on the other side and go to work. Well, here you can see some of the products that are still being milled around here. And as an old framing carpenter, these CF and I nails are near and dear to my heart. And here we've got some rails, some steel pipe. Take a look at that weather vane up there. I think we might have to make us one of those. Here's the old mine rescue car number one. From the Colorado Fuel and Iron Company. Let's go see what that's all about. Yes, yeah, so we're out here checking out everything, and I come across this uh, this Lincoln equipment. This is Kyle. Kyle, uh, what do you got here? Well, I got a it's a virtual welder. Uh, it's used for training tools in uh, certain environments. We have a basic welding helmet kind of setup, so you're getting the aspect of the welding helmet and the kind of the weight, getting used to it. Uh, you actually look through here, and it's a virtual world. You'll be able to see all this: the table, the the peg, the T joint everything all in this helmet so it's a virtual welding trainer yeah. now, something like that would really come in handy around the shop teach me how to weld fun down here. Hope you've enjoyed this little video. And remember, come see me at logfurniturehowto.com. This has been Mitchell Dillman. We'll see you again next week.